Craig was talking about the idea that, you know, he'd like to restore the movies um, because they were starting to degrade, as film does, over just a few decades. And it was when he kind of went back to start working on the restoration, you know. It wasn't that we didn't, he didn't love the movies or I didn't love the movies, but we hadn't seen them in a while, you know, and it's kind of fell back in love with just kind of how fun and crazy and colorful and wild those movies are and nowhere in particular. And I think that with the restoration to be able to bring it to you exactly the way Greg had envisioned it, as colorful, you know, I think most copies, which we're very thankful, we're very thankful that people watch the bootlegs or pass the VHS copies, otherwise they wouldn't have seen it. But to see it on the big screen, I think, and to see it restored in all of its, uh, I mean, color and glory, really, and in the, and the sound mix being completely redone so you can hear all the songs now. You know, I think um, there's even myself who is involved with the movie since, uh, you know, the machinations in the beginning of it. There's now moments where I was like, oh, I, that, I was looking for that song. I never knew where it was because I couldn't hear it because it was kind of buried in the mix. So now with the restoration, you can see it, you know, I think, and hear it exactly the way Greg meant for us to all see it and watch the movie. Um, I auditioned several times actually for the role of Alyssa, and it was between me and Jordan Ladd, who we actually became really good friends at the, in the waiting room for the audition. And then she got the part, and I was sad, but then um, somehow I managed to get offered the role of Egg, which I was very excited about because I think that role was much more suited for me. So, um, but yeah, I was so excited to be part of the cast. And I had met uh, Greg and Jimmy because I had actually auditioned for the Doom Generation. I was at Sundance, I had a film at Sundance, my first film, when they were there for Totally Fucked Up. So I saw it there and, um, and then yeah, I met them for Doom Generation. So. I was just very excited and the fact that we're here all these years later and all these young fans that probably weren't even born when we shot the movie, it's really pretty cool. Well, we did Doom Generation and we did this. We did Totally Effed Up in June. We kind of did like a mini Greg Araki thing in, in June for for pride, but also like finally his movies are being released. I heard James was kind of hinting there's gonna be a box set soon. And he's also been hinting that he wants to get Greg down here. And I think if Greg Araki came to this theater, that would be incredible because we couldn't announce the guest tonight because of the SAG strike, obviously. But if Greg was coming, we could announce it because he's, I don't even know if he's part of the DGA, honestly, like, but he's not part of SAG. So we could have been like, Greg Araki. So I'll play every single Greg Araki film because A, he hasn't made that many films to like be like, well, there's too many. I can't play all of them. But they're all good and interesting in their own ways. The mark of a great filmmaker. <laughs> it's been incredible with the 4K restoration to see you know, so many people come out for it. Like I think to near, here tonight, excuse me, here tonight at the Frida, uh, and for the Doom Generation restoration that we had here about six months ago, it, it, it's beyond what we imagined, to be quite honest. We didn't think that we'd be showing these movies 25 years later to, you know, packed houses. So that's really quite something. I think it's a, a bit of a lost art form. I mean, we don't see too many indie films anymore. Um, and Greg Araki is just a pioneer, and I think his work is really important, so I think it's amazing that he's been getting his due.